This is the beef jerky recipe that everybody should be making, and it all starts with a lean of beef. Guys, if you got a slicer, use it. If not, a knife will work just as well. Excellent. Yeah. And look, when you, uh, when you add it into the uh, marinade like that, you want to do a little bit at a time. You need coating on every piece of meat. That is very important to the recipe. Oh. Once you get all the meat entered into the, uh, into the marinade, she is going to go to sleep in the uh, fridge for 12, 14 hours. Here is the jerky that we did yesterday. Man, the smell is definitely in the air, no doubt about it. It's very important to get the beef jerky dry. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to leave it out here on the paper towels. I'll let it air dry for about 15 minutes. Then I'll get some uh, fresh paper towels and put it over it and push that in. We want to keep this low, man. We want to go with as low as your pit can go. I can probably hold this at that 160 range and that'll work perfect. Other than that, man, we're looking at maybe anywhere from two to four hours. And look, the only thing I would say here is you can go two ways. You can hang it and you can uh, just lay it flat down on the, uh, on the pit. Just keep them off of each other. You want them to breathe a little bit. Other than that, man, I mean, this is a piece of cake stuff. Let's get over to the pit. Let's load it up and I'll see you guys in a bit. Guys, at this point, you want your pit as low as you can keep it. I'm going to hover at that 160 range, and that is going to be perfect. You can go uh, flat, on the, uh, flat on the grate like that or hang it, and also just try to keep them off of each other. Let them breathe a little bit. Let them all get that good smoke. Yeah. All right, guys, look, we are five hours in, and the beef jerky smell is definitely in the air. Let's go in together. I want to show you what to look for to tell if your beef jerky is done. I know this is because I just checked it out, but let me show you. Let's go in together. Let's take a look, and we will close out this show with a little beef jerky taste test. Oh, yeah. Guys, stay tuned here, and in a bit, I'll show you how to tell when your beef jerky is done. In the meantime, what I'm going to do is this stuff is looking killer. I'm going to get it off. I'll get it on the board, and I'll bring you guys back. Yeah. All right, guys, and that is it. Here you go, man. This is about, uh, I think this is about $20, $22 worth of beef jerky here. This is, uh, I use a London broil here. You could use any kind of lean cut you want and just follow these basic steps on this recipe that I have down below, and you too could be making some awesome teriyaki beef jerky. So look, to, uh, to select your beef jerky, to know it is done, like I said, give it a nice bend like that. You wanna see some of that white in the middle, and you definitely want some pull apart like that. And that is the uh, perfect beef jerky, and here you go for a, uh, probably my 10th taste test on this, but cheers.